Well, I'll leave that with you here for what should be an incredible finals day, final event of the year. Well, actually, there's a four-star in Brazil in November, but this is the big one through past the Olympic Games. It's been such an eventful year, such a fun year for World Tour Volleyball. With lots of doubt due to the pandemic, the FIBB and each one of the world have done quite the incredible job to make sure we have a World Tour in the first place. But April Ross has now got the clean sweep of Olympic medals. Presentation of the this partnership referees. with Alex Kleinman, an incredible one. As we meet Brazil. the officials for this one. Well, these teams have met each other five times. It was actually the Russians that defeated the Americans early on in this competition in a tough pool A. Romina Makro goes over beating the gold medalists from the USA in three in a week that's not gone according to plan for the Americans, but for the Russians, they've just won their first ever Olympic medal on the men's side of things, and to many, this could be a team who could go very, very close in Paris. And there's the Macro Gazova, the blocker of the pairing, 183 centimeters. Svetlana Volomina, the defender. Well, they've won two together. Their biggest result in senior volleyball was the four-star victory in 2019 in Espina. But this will be another test for them. April Ross, Alex Kleinman, now the Olympic gold medalist, taking over from Lara Ludwig and Kira Volkenhorst. And for April Ross, one of the best players this game has certainly ever seen. The total package when it comes to serving defense and siding out today. She's actually looking for her first ever medal at a World Tour Finals alongside Alex Kleinman. Still just 26 international events for Kleinman. Crossing over from the indoor game in pursuit of an Olympic medal. She got exactly what she wanted. 31 years old, 194 centimeters. A threat at the net. Well, this is a match worthy of a gold medal. It's going to be Russia to get us underway. And there's a chip to the line. And back on one, what a start from April Ross. Well, early serves on to Macro Guzova, who in that semi-final match was stopped a fair amount of the time from a very impressive Julia Siddler and Carla Borger. They're on the brink of what will be their best result as a partnership as they go to the gold medal match, or they will be competing in the gold medal match a little bit later on today against the world champions from Canada, Sarah Pavin, Melissa Humana Paradez.
two times European under-22 champions. There's a side out for the USA. Well, Holomina, very close to that one, just sweeping around on the short line. This top rookie on the FIVB World Tour shared with Tina Gladinia in 2018. If it's coming down to individual awards, there's not many people who have won more than April Ross. Best server three times. It's good for work from Maclo Guzova. A couple of quick steps to try and fix the line on April Ross. But April Ross hammers through to the angle as we've seen so many times in this sport. Quick, dynamic, turns one through the seam. That's big serving from April Ross. And USA take the opening ends here. Four to three. April Ross is known for her spin serve, but sweeping to the line. It's a late move to the line from Ross. There's no block. Breaking, thinking the ball wasn't going to come very powerfully out of her. April Ross makes a great decision and hammers through to the line. Matt Kroger's over, caught going backwards. The set's off the net from Kleinman. Block is going to be watching for that positioning of the set to make a decision to make the move to kick off from the center, breaking to the line now as Kleiman. Kleiman makes a great touch. The recovery setting from Ross also pretty good zones. Free net this time, but it's a late move. It's a great camera angle, this one, as April Ross sits in the seam. It's a great read, and the USA are absolutely rocking it. Well, initially, The first touch was from Kleinman, but it was Ross who made that really late step into the seam, just tracking the approach line of the spiker, staying very stable as April Ross. Yeah. Well, steps in with the bump set before twisting one away, Kleinman. Ferocious start from the A-team, who are now led by Angie Akers. Former head coach of the Netherlands program, but now doing a great job following on from the grand work that April Ross's former partner Jennifer Kessy started with Kleinman and with Ross. Timeout from Russia. As April Ross goes back to the spin server underway once more and it's tied in the scenes it's tied Alex Kleiman will come into her own there as we've seen time and time again Wow. 
And now diving into the angle, Alex Kleinman, two kill blocks in a row on Russia. And this first set is quickly moving away from the young Russian side, communicating, diving into the cross court, doubling up from the USA. Well, chopping back to the angle, finally, Russia. Have managed to find the side out they needed. Facing the line, chopping back to the angle. Beautiful work. Angles are cool. Chance for Russia. And the chase is on for Kleinman, but to no avail this time. Well, fascinating in the World Tour Finals because it's the first time that there's no Brazilian team in the Final Four. It's only the second time that a Brazilian female team won't medal at the World Tour Finals. The previous time was 2016, won by Lara Ludwig and Kira Volkenhorst. Talita and Larissa took a fourth that year in Toronto. But since then, through the years, Agatha Duda meddling at most of the World Tour Finals. Agatha Duda won in 2018, second in 2019. It was an interesting phase for Brazilian beach volleyball because there wasn't even a men's team in this competition. And it's the third year in succession that they won't have a team in the final four either. Another strange fact is that Kleinman and Ross are the first USA female team to reach the final four in a World Tour Finals ever as well. So April Ross has seen just about everything in beach volleyball, but she's never medaled at a World Tour Finals, and this time she's off the hands. Chases on. This has not been the start that Russia would have wanted whatsoever. Finding themselves 15 5 down. But this is what the A team can do. They can go on serious runs in this sport. And we saw it in the Olympic final. A fantastic occasion at Chicago Park. And the composure of April Ross in those situations, you really have to admire her. She's sat in the right position. She's not defending too much of the line. She's just sat more inside due to the arm swing of the Russian. And then she stays solid, stable, and really relaxed in the way she plays offense. This one is going at a rate of knots. So Macro goes over and Holomina, very uncharacteristic for them. But also, It wasn't their day yesterday for Russia. Went down to a Borgasuda side in great form. Lost 15-11 in the third. But on the whole, 
Russia have to be very happy with their season, as have April Ross and Alex Kleiman. But look at that for a run of serves. From 11 all the way through to 16, the USA cooking here. Well, Alex Kleiman, straight down the middle, adding insult to injury. Off the body, finding a way off the hands of Kleiman. And this will just have to be a very slow rebuild here for Russia. April Ross from the inside just tries to knuckle back line. This is better from them. Maklo goes over, gets her feet inside the ball, but timing slightly out. And with that, the ball disappears. Well, neither of these nations have played in the final four of a World Tour Finals. Kleinman looking to win her first ever World Tour Finals medal as well today. And they've come out firing, haven't they? Top form from our Olympic gold medalists. Well, Russia won the gold medal in this competition two years ago when the World Tour Finals was last on in Rome. On the men's side of things, Vyacheslav Klesilnikov, Oleg Stoyanovsky beating Tole Vikler on that day. But this is a slow start from Russia. Ferocious one from April Ross and Alex Kleiman. 14 set points. They have come out absolutely firing. Setting. Perfect knuckle, it's back on one. Surely Ross is there, absolutely. A hammer out the back. Not for the lack of trying, though, from April Ross. Set point for Russia. Another set point for USA. Matra Muzova, also. Climbing. Oh, what a dig. Well, Russia are starting to find their feet here. It's a bit too little, too late in this opening set, but they're sending a message of intent to the Americans for set two. Well, well, well. Two points in a row for Russia, but it's a miss serve that gives the A-team the opening set here of the bronze medal match. They're both looking for their first ever World Tour Finals medal here. In the USA's first Final Four in women's beach volleyball history when it comes to the World Tour Finals, 21-8. The opening set goes to the Olympic gold medalist. Ferocious start from both of them. Well, the statistics tell us everything, but really, that was not the Russian performance that we've become accustomed to on the World Tour. 
Back at the center, back under the net, the USA being a one of the first sector. They haven't lost the set by that margin this week. Remember, they beat Clyman Ross in the opening game of Pool A. It's the first time that Clyman and Ross have competed internationally since winning the Olympic gold medal, breaking into the angle. It's a great break because it's a soft swing. Clyman has a chance to go line over and it's perfect. Kleinman does this a lot, breaks on the soft swing of the spiker. So even if they do see Kleinman move backwards, she has a little bit more time to steady herself and make a good touch of the ball. It's something we saw in the Olympic final as well. You very rarely see Kleinman break in the direction where the spiker's shoulders are facing. And they'll give that area to April Ross to make the dig because April Ross does make some great shapes defensively. Cut is the call and cut is the execution. Turns one with the shoulders. Very, very late. Well, Russia won't want to end this competition in fourth place, but they certainly won't want to finish with the performance that we've seen in set one. They took a ninth at the Olympic Games. And ninth seems to be a habit for them, having taken a ninth in Stade and a ninth in Ostrava, but they podiumed in Sochi at the four-star event, and also a second place in Cancun. Off the hands once more from April Ross, who, if you think previously, Turned one back sharp. Now she brushes one to the line. Variation in the offense of April Ross. The recovery setting from Holomina. Absolutely perfect. Well, the last time before this competition that these two teams played. Ostrava four-star on the world tour. Kleiman Morris won that one 2-0. They actually won the second set 21-9, which is starting to show they have a very good read on them. The periods, April Ross goes back to the line this time. He has a change of ends. But this was similar to the opening set. The first end was 4-3 before an onslaught of serving from the Americans. Good serving once more. Superb chase from April Ross, but she's been to the sideline. True swing from Russia. Now this Russian team won the Napa one star in 2018. That alongside their four-star win in Espino, where they beat Kelly Clays and Sarah Sponsel in 2019. Their two wins at senior level, but before that, won the under-22s in Baden in 2017, but they also won the under-22s at the expense of Gladinia and Klav Chinoka in Yermala. Super Spike. Just because the USA were fairly comfortable in the opening set doesn't mean they'll be taking anything lightly here. Fizzed off the body from April Ross. Again, she's showing something different in her approach line to where the ball ends up going. Very straight approach line, brush back to the cross court. And for Kleinman, a great season alongside April Ross. Remember they won 
the Manhattan Beach Open. Alongside the Olympic Games, Kleiman is there again. They've also won on the AVP Tour in Chicago. And even last year, this team won all three AVP tournaments without losing a match. I mean, led that tour in terms of hitting percentages as well. No break that time. And this is better from Russia. Certainly is more consistent, passing better, finding more solutions at the net. More breaks to the line. Beaten for speed this time though, Kleiman. Ross puts that one away, but staying with Alex Kleiman for the time being, to think only 26 events internationally. But did play on the AVP qualifiers in 2006 and 2005 as well at the age of 15. So before Kleiman took to indoor, certainly did gain up some experience playing beach volleyball. Comes in straight, stays high, Macro goes over. From the right side. Back across the body, it's too good from Holobina, who when asked questions has answered them very nicely. Two looks at the court, and the arm just works through across the body. You know, Russia are really growing in beach volleyball in terms of making the big stage in World Tour events on a more regular occurrence. You think of the impact the likes of Konstantin Semenov and Vyacheslav Silnikov had before splitting up. Since then, the world champions now rushing on the men's side of things. The same team, Klasilnikov, Stoyanovsky, Olympic silver medalists. And you do feel that this team here, even represented a fine chance for a medal for Russia at the Tokyo Olympics. But it wasn't their turn this time. It certainly was the time for Kleinman and Ross, and you feel that it was really written in the stars for them, the way they came out and played in that Olympic final. Don't think any team in the world would have beaten them on that day. Ross sends us to the technical timeout here.